Hare Krishna. Information does not have to be new to be helpful. It just has to be timely. We live in a culture which glamorizes newness, new gadgets, new fashions, new <coughs> devices, new products, new news, breaking news as we say. So, amidst this craze for the new, sometimes we devalue things just because they are familiar. However, sometimes even the familiar can be very helpful if it is available to us in a timely way. We do not always need new information. For example, if a student is preparing for an exam and after preparing for that exam, the student turns and uh, <coughs> student goes for the exam. And at that time, the student does not need to think up something new in the paper. The student just need to in a timely way remember whatever uh, they had studied. So, or for that matter, if say somebody is getting a stress attack, at that time, just a timely reminder by someone, breathe deeply. That is not a new instruction, but, new, but being told it at that time can help in calming down, in avoiding the stress attack. Arjuna at the start of the Bhagavad Gita faced an emotional breakdown and at that time Krishna told him about his spiritual identity. Arjuna's emotional breakdown was at the prospect of fighting and killing, uh, fighting against his relatives, especially his venerable elders and killing them. And he just could not digest the idea. So, Krishna told him about the indestructibility of the soul and told him that thereby actually you will be elevated, they will be elevated by doing, by doing dharma. So, even if they lose their bodies, they are not going to be destroyed. Rather, they will be freed from the sinful circumstances that they are in and they will get elevated uh, by fighting a dharmic war. So, the, this understanding soulaced Arjuna, it strengthened him and whereas, at the start of the Bhagavad Gita, he had put aside his bow being unwilling to fight. By the end of the Bhagavad Gita, it raised his bow and was ready to fight. So, similarly, so, so the, the knowledge of the soul from the Gita's perspective, from uh, the perspective of the Mahabharata is not new. Arjuna lived in a culture where the soul was, was a fundamental aspect of knowledge. In the Mahabharata itself, there are many sections before the Bhagavad Gita, where the knowledge of the soul is talked about. In fact, in the Bhagavad Gita itself, in the first chapter, Krishna talks, Arjuna talks about the soul or rather he hints at the soul when he says, Narake niyatam vaso bhavati tyanushu shruma. So, he says in 1.43, Utsanna kula dharamana manushyanam janardana narake niyatam vaso bhavati tyanushu shruma. So, he is saying that those who do sinful activities, Utsanna kula dharamana manushyanam janardana, those people, what happens to them? Narake niyatam vaso, they will live forever in hell. Bhavati tyanushushrama, this is what I have heard. Now, what does it mean? Who will, if, if somebody is going to die, if you are all going to die, then who is, what is, who or what is it going, that is going to go to the soul? Sorry, who or what is going to go to hell? So, it is the soul. So, therefore, the important thing is, Arjuna was not ignorant of the soul. Arjuna was forgetful of the soul. And the Bhagavad Gita reminds him in a timely way. Same way when we are studying scripture, if we are always looking for some new information in scripture, then we may feel, oh, this is the same old familiar stuff coming again and again. But if we understand that even the familiar is helpful if it comes in a timely way, and we study scripture regularly in a mood of service, then we will be delighted, inspired, enlivened to see how in our study of scripture, timely insights we find points that we need to hear at that time in our study and thus we will become guided and illumined. Thank you. Hare Krishna.